Welcome to historic Harvard Stadium, home of Harvard football. Nestled in a spectacular setting next to the Charles River and with the Boston skyline on the horizon, Harvard Stadium is perhaps the most historically important stadium in the country. Built in 1903, it is also the nation's oldest stadium. Harvard Stadium is a horseshoe containing architectural elements of a Greek stadium and Roman circus and is considered an engineering marvel as it was the world's first massive reinforced concrete structure and the first large permanent arena for American college athletics. With a seating capacity of 30,323, Harvard Stadium is praised for its outstanding sight lines. Harvard Stadium dictated the rules of football as we know them today, as the close proximity of its stands to the field led to one of the most successful innovations in football history. In 1906, debate raged about the sport's roughness and several colleges had dropped football in favor of rugby. When the Football Rules Committee met to discuss changes, Walter Camp proposed widening the field by 40 feet. However, that idea would require considerable alterations to Harvard Stadium and ultimately, the committee adopted the forward pass instead. Harvard Stadium is recognized as a national historic landmark and is one of just three athletic arenas in the country to be so designated. The most dramatic changes to Harvard Stadium took place as part of a 2006-07 upgrade to the facility that included replacing the natural grass surface with field turf, the addition of lights to allow for nighttime use of the field, and the installation of a removable dome-like bubble that allows for year-round use of the facility. Away from the stadium, Harvard football boasts a pro locker room unrivaled at the Division I FCS level. Custom-designed wooden lockers line a central open space on each side of the locker room where a theater screen drops down from the ceiling, enabling simultaneous offensive and defensive positional meetings on both sides of the locker room. The locker room is site of one of the longest traditions in sports today, when the Crimson team sings its fabled alma mater, 10,000 men of Harvard, after each victory. The locker room sits within the Dillon Fieldhouse, which is the centerpiece of Harvard's athletic complex and gathering place pre- and post-game on football game days. A student-athlete lounge exists on the second floor of Dillon Fieldhouse. The football coaches' offices and meeting rooms are located at ground level, along with a dedicated equipment room. The sports medicine room is also located in Dillon, just steps from the football locker room. It consists of more than 5,000 square feet and is equipped with various modalities, a hydrotherapy room, and rehabilitation and cardiovascular equipment. Harvard's football players are provided with a wide range of top-notch facilities designed to keep the Crimson at the top of its game each Saturday. Palmer Dixon is one of the premier strength and conditioning facilities in the country. Few, if any, facilities can match Palmer Dixon's ability to accommodate large teams in such a variety of strength training and conditioning areas with top-of-the-line equipment. There are 24 training stacks, 12 40-yard indoor lanes, indoor and outdoor med ball walls, and a 3,000-square-foot conditioning loft. Perhaps the most radical change to Harvard Stadium takes place when the football season is complete with the installation of a removable dome-like bubble that allows for the year-round use of Harvard Stadium. The bubble completely covers the playing surface from November until the spring, which gives the Crimson a fully functional home for winter workouts and spring practices. For more information on Harvard football, please visit www.gocrimson.com.